What is up y'all? Uncle Dirt here coming to you from the Colorado River. Arizona that way. Currently firmly planted on Nevada soil. Gonna get the yak on. Come on, let's go.
if you can see me if I stand up. Kind of give you give you a little look around here, and uh, before another boat comes by. Not a lot of people on the water today. Look, some kayakers that way. I'm quite a bit up to Colorado towards the Hoover Dam. So uh, I think most people started earlier and got tuckered out. Here's a little look-see at uh, Lunch Base. Got the Tarpon 120 Chillaxin. My high-tech prop your phone up against the cooler lid so you can get the right shot for the video. Hey man, adventure's on a budget. You don't need to have a bank to have fun. Gotta look around. I'm trying to walk out here a little bit. I got a shot from the water which you may or may not have already seen and uh whoa what the heck's that something down in here man look like what those are hmm. there's just regular rocks i thought for a minute those might be mussels or something but i guess not too bad. I would have eaten up one of them babies. I did see a couple of ducks floating by. When I say floating, they were dead. Not sure what happened there. It's about uh, that deep. So just below knee. It's cold too. This water is like 46, 47 degrees. I like me some Florida and them cool. 70 degree weather waters whatever I'm trying to say Got a chopper coming over to get wavy up in here. It's about to get wavy. You think we're behind these rocks because the boat just jammed by. About to get wavy. I almost fell down. I would have got really cold, really wet, really fast.
All right, so I'm going to give you just a quick, little quick once over on the gear review of what I got going on with the tarpon. Got the tarpon 120, Wilderness Systems, pretty straightforward. Got an awesome adjustable seat, both the lumbar, the old crotchal area, and the old knee brace. Got some side pockets here to put some stuff in. Of course, underneath here, nice sealed hatch. Got the water ring right there. Got some tie downs, take a peek inside. So I look through the hole. Try it this way. Nothing too amazing down there. Now, here's another hatch. I got more stuff on there, but. There's a nice little area up in there. You can see by the look, see through the front. This little dealio right here, the wheel with the old uh, bungee on it. Slide your paddle in there, rest your pallet, or paddle, pallet, whatever. Here we got uh, some nice handles for carrying it from the front or dragging it. Also put a uh, tow line on there if I'm walking through shallows. All on the sides here. Awesomeness, these come stock. You can buy them aftermarket as well for your kayak. And then there are various little gadgets out there you can buy and they slide through here. You can put your rod holders up here, your Scotty mounts or whatever else. Beverage holder that I never use. Adjustable foot pegs. Same thing back here, we got the runners right here. Put gear, tie stuff down, they lock down. Got bungees getting their crisscross on. Put up in there. Grab handle in the back for loading. My Ascend vest, not the best, but it works. And the price was right. I'm back here. You got room for a rudder if you want to throw a rudder on there. Lock it down here. There's your drain plug. That's about it. That's the gear in a nutshell. It ain't about the gear, it's about the adventure. So let's get back to it. Wow! Check this out, y'all. There is nobody but us out here. And them ducks. Maybe some mountain sheep. Check this out. <clears throat> Let's see them. The current is almost non-existent. It's there, but very little. But check this out. I'm going to try and balance you without dropping you. Check it out. Just off the, the clap, off of this. Listen to this. Woo! That was crazy. When I yelled, somebody else yelled, but you can't tell where it's coming from. I don't see anybody in either direction. When they yelled, it sounded like it was coming from back there or inside one of those caves. Pretty wild. You can't tell where it's coming from. Now I'm starting to think, was that my own echo? Let's try it again. Whoa! You know, I'm confused. I seriously can't tell if that was me and my echo cutting all the way across here, bouncing off of there, and then coming back up through there. Weird.
Temperature's starting to drop here in the canyon. About 4.30 p.m. Off to the west. The sun is hidden by the old canyon walls. I love the way the light touches the rocks this time of day. Entering what I call the golden hour. Primo for colors. Well, we're nearing the end of our journey for this aimless adventure. You got to uh, 
get off the old yak in the river here. Got about a mile and a half left to go down river. Uh, I gotta stretch my legs and, well, you know. I saw something pretty cool over here. Check this out. That is super sketchy right there. They used to use that to go from one side to the other. And then there's a sketchy walkway. You may have already seen that. Or maybe not. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it in the vlog. We'll check this out. Sketchy cave. Sketchy cave. Sketchy cave. Want to go in? weird. It's all kind of ripped up. Napkins everywhere. kind of sketchy up in here. No telling what activity is going on in this joint. Good thing that rock's there holding us up. And that one. Kayak's still there. That's good. I don't have enough energy to go swimming a mile and a half in 45 degree weather. I mean water. Pretty cool. All right. There you go. Well, <laughs> that about wraps up another Aimless Adventures vlog coming to you from you to the tube. Wilderness Tarpon 120 right here. Did me well. Good boat. A little more expensive than some, but hey, you give what you pay for, but you don't have to spend that kind of money. Check around on the interwebs, Craigslist. OfferUp is a good place to go, a little app for OfferUp. Check around. See what you got going on, and I'll catch you on the next Amos Adventures vlog. Be safe.